Hey Sagittarius, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a reading for your sign today. As always, this is not a personal reading for you. This is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you or it may not. If it does resonate with you, that is awesome. That means these cards are speaking directly to you through me today. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it just wasn't your turn. However, I highly recommend whether it resonates with you or not to check your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign in addition to knowing your sun sign, which today is Sagittarius. Why, you ask? Why would you need to know those things? Well, here's why. Because your sun sign, Sagittarius, is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you feel about your world. It's how you process the information that comes into you. Your ascending sign, also called your rising sign, is how you disseminate that information back into your world, right? Your Venus sign is how you give and receive love. So those are four, in my opinion, the four most important signs to know when you're watching um, tarot card readings. And if you will go to the free link, the, the link in the box to the free website that will download your astrological natal chart, you will be able to discover what the signs in your chart are. And you'll be able to cross watch not only for yourself, but for the people that you're cross watching for, you'll be able to cross watch their signs as well. And you will get a much more comprehensive, complete picture of the events that are unfolding in your lives. Okay. All right. What else? Hey, if you want a personal reading from me, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com. 40 bucks will hook you up for a reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation. You have to use the promo code YouTube2019 at checkout. You have to click the checkout button and it will give you an option to enter the promo code YouTube2019 for $10 off your reading. Okay. All right. Well, let's get started and talk about this. This is a uh, really actually short to the point, short, sweet to the point. It's a... Uh, it's, it really is a quite direct reading right now, okay? All right, Sag, let's see what's going on here. You have a sense of hope, faith, purpose, and renewal on the horizon. You can see it, right? You, you have hope, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality. You see something sizzling up, right? This leaves you feeling like a boss, right? Accomplished, in control, satisfied, um, just really sitting in your power, right? Right? However, there is some kind of a restriction that is keeping you from progressing. You see it. You see hope, renewal, faith, purpose, spirituality. In, in This is a relationship reading. You see this in your relationship, but you don't really know quite how to get there. There's some kind of a blockage, right? There's definitely some kind of a blockage. What is this blockage about? You're having a hard time with a new beginning and a new journey because you're just not absolutely 100% sure that you want to commit. Ooh, well, because of not being 100% sure that you want to put forth the commitment that it will take to have a new beginning and a new journey with your person, you're just going to wait. You're going to sit and you're going to wait. However, while you're sitting and waiting and contemplating on the seeds that you've sown and the profit and reward that you will get from this investment in this relationship, you have a mental breakthrough. You have a mental breakthrough and you have some profound clarity. You have some profound clarity that comes to you and it fills you with a sense of enthusiasm and excitement, right? It fills you with a sense of enthusiasm, excitement, and happiness in regards to how you are going to go about creating harmony and value alignment, values alignment in this relationship. There is a change. 
there is from this point forward, because of this mental clarity, there is a change in your relationship, right? There's a transition, a transformation of your relationship into the lovers. Love, harmony, relationships, right? Because you have sat down with your high priestess for a good hard minute and have reevaluated um, the choices that you have in life, the decisions that you need to make, and the confusion that you have up here with the moon card, right? The confusion that you have. The sit down with your intuition, with the high priestess, gives you um, a sense of completion, right? It gives you a sense of completion and an integration right? You, after sitting down with your high priestess, now you understand what this blockage was and how you're going to go forward from here. Okay. That's kind of what our intuition does. That's, that, that, that's what's having to sit down with the high priestess will do for you, right? It gives you clarity, gives you understanding of why you feel the way that you feel. And when you understand why you feel the way that you feel, you can then integrate those feelings and go, aha, 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 that's why, and have a sense of completion, right? A sense of completion. This sense of completion after your sit down with the high priestess, reviewing options and de decisions and confusion in your life, you come out on the, on the other side of that, of that meeting with um, a sense of renewal. You, you want to manifest a new opportunity in this relationship. You want to, 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 to go forward and manifest this, right? The Prince of Wands says that you are now filled with, with passion, energy, lust, action, adventure. This is an action-oriented card to communicate your feelings, your passionate feelings, right? So you're going to go forward and you are going to tell somebody that you would like to have some teamwork and collaboration with them right? You'd like to have some teamwork and collaboration with them. But before you do, you are still going to be caught up in your head for a little bit. It's, it's not without this completion and integration right here. It's not without some anxiety, right? Because up here, you're really apprehensive about commitment, right? And even though you've sat down with the high priestess and you've gone through all of those feelings and you've sorted through all of those emotions and there's a completion, now you understand why you feel the way that you do does not change the fact that you still feel the way that you do. So you have, you have some Nine of Swords energy right here, right? You have some, some anxiety, right? Some anxiety. However, the King of Pentacles comes on top of that and says that, that your anxiety is all about security, control, and power. Either, either you are feeling unsettled about your own issues in regards to security, control, and power in your life, or you are wrestling with issues about dominance, security, control, and power in this relationship. However, that fits for you, right? You're going to transition though. You're going to come to terms with all of this and you are going to transition out of this nine of swords, anxiety stricken, wrestling with, with all of these internal things, you're going to transition out of that. And you are going to come to the conclusion. You're going to, to rectify these feelings that you're wrestling with over here, transition out of that energy. And you're coming, you're coming out with emotional security and emotional balance. You're calm, cool, collected, again, having a sit down with some intuition right here and um, manifesting emotional security, right? Emotional security. And this queen of cups right here, she knows that she knows that she knows. So this right here, this nine of swords energy is kind of the last leg of this internal struggle that you're having right here, Sag. 
It's the last leg of this internal struggle. And you come out knowing that you know that you know, right? What happens after that is that you have celebration. You feel happy, right? You feel relieved, relieved that, that, that you can now move forward in control of your emotions. Look, the emperor, control, establishment, authority, and structure. Got a little bit of a control issue going on here, Sagittarius. Are you control freak, maybe? A little bit? A little bit? A little bit? It's okay. It's all right. As long as, as, long as it's not a toxic energy, um, you know, uh, having control and, and wanting control over your life, there's, there's no shame in that. There's no shame in that. Anyway, um, so you have a, a sense of, of happiness and celebration that you now have have integrated all of this together and you have control of yourself right you have control of yourself justice truth fairness cause and effect and law has been applied this right here and this right here you have and all of this actually has um has has been justified right there has been cause and effect applied right the result of that is the princess of cups you are going to deliver messages of feels to somebody you're going to deliver messages of feels to somebody because there is an absolute inevitable end to juggling your priorities right juggling your priorities we're juggling juggling the priorities right here in this in this in this devil energy that kept you from committing the nine of pentacles says that there's a culmination to the issue there's a culmination to the issue and you have a sense of self-sufficiency now which is what you are struggling with over here these control issues um, trying to get your emotions under control you now have a sense of self-sufficiency right you you have it under control and you 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 are sufficient enough in yourself right what follows that is love the ace of cups love right overwhelming emotion you are now ready to pour it out see the water coming out of that cup right there you are now ready to pour out your feels and you are going to take swift action to do so. You have control, willpower, determination to take the action to make this relationship successful. What is going to make this relationship successful is your newfound ability to commit. And lo and behold, the result is unified love a partnership and a relationship yay saggy that's it what time are we at do we have time to do a recap oh good lord we're only 15 minutes in well i tell you what if you guys got the point and you want to click off right now this is where we part ways thank you for coming and um, i appreciate your company but i'm going to go over this reading one more time and we're going to talk about some major arcana some life lessons that are happening here okay all righty Let's redo. Let's reiterate and redo. So the star card, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. What is the point of this card? This is a major arcana. This is a life lesson, okay? This is card number 17. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. This card belongs to Aquarius because that's the Aquarian energy. That's what they are all about. I love Aquarians. I, I do. I love them. They're such a refreshing breath of fresh air to the Zodiac system. I love them. So this card, the lesson for this card, the lesson for this star card right here is no matter how down in the mouth you can get, no matter how much you see the downside of things, the laws of physics say when something hits the bottom, there is no place else to go but up, right? This card says to have hope, to have faith, that there is purpose 
in your life, that the universe has a purpose for your life. Renewal. Whenever anything ends, it's always renewed. The seasons, I mean, the world that we live in is, is just a spectacular example from the universe about how we need to have hope, faith, that there will be renewal in our lives, that there are purpose, that there is purpose in our lives. And the spirituality aspect of it goes right along with the high priestess and the moon card and the queen of cups, right? Um, we have to be in touch with our spirituality, right? If you're not in touch with your spirituality, life doesn't make any sense, okay? So this recognition, this understanding that you have right here of renewal in your life, in this relationship, has you coming across as the king of wands, right, Sag? I mean, this is fire energy right here. This is you sitting in your power, being very, very okay with the way you feel about life at this particular moment. The devil. What is this devil energy right here? The lesson of the devil card right now. Now, and I'm not just giving like random lessons here. These cards, the tarot is telling you the lessons that at this particular point in your life, at this juncture in your life, these are the lessons that, that you need to learn in order to progress and be enlightened and be the best possible Sagittarius that you can possibly be. Okay. This, this devil energy right here, you know, everybody's like, Oh my God, toxic devil. You know, no, no, everybody Everybody, everyone has devil energy. Everyone is subject to unhealthy attachments. Everyone is subject to addictions and self-imposed restrictions and, and deep-rooted sexuality. It's human nature. The devil card is human nature. I mean, if we compare the devil card to the high priestess, like I was saying, you have to be in touch with your spirituality, right? And most people are not in touch with their spirituality. Most people are in touch with their devil energy. Most people are in touch with the, 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 the dark side of themselves. Not a lot of people are in touch with the bright white light. So this devil, this devil arcana, this major arcana right here for you, it, the lesson in this card is to recognize, recognize yourself in this devil energy. And when you do, that's the first step of breaking free to any kind of unhealthy attachment or addiction or restriction is to recognize yourself in this card right? Recognize yourself in this card. That's your lesson. And I do believe that as this reading progresses, you do recognize yourself in this card. So what's your issue right here? Your issue with this, with this toxic energy is that, wait, let me back up. I forgot to talk about your shadow self. Your shadow self is the thoughts in your head that swirl around that you would never speak out loud, right? May some of us do. Some of y'all do. I don't. I don't I don't I try not to say bad things, but um it's the shadow self. It's the self-depraving thoughts in your head that will not that will keep you bound forever and tied down to a stagnant situation. The self-depriving thoughts, you're not good enough. You don't have what it takes. You're not worthy. You can't do this. You suck, right? Those words, okay? So we have to recognize that in this devil card as well because that will keep you bound to an unhealthy attachment. That's what keeps you bound to addictions and restrictions, right? So your lesson, Sag, in this devil card Okay, this, this devil energy is blocking you 
from having a new beginning and a new journey in a love relationship. Because you don't see the forest through the trees. You can't, you don't have clarity right now. You don't, you don't, you don't, 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 you don't, um, you don't see the value of the commitment. You don't see the value of the commitment. And as we go through this reading, you, you, you see the value of this commitment. So you've learned your devil lesson right there, right? So you're just going to sit and you're going to wait. You're just going to sit and you're going to wait for a minute. And while you're sitting and waiting and contemplating on, hold on, I have to let this dog out. He's driving me crazy. Hold on a second. Snickers. Get out. Sorry, guys. Okay. So while you are sitting and just waiting and not doing anything, you are contemplating the profit and the reward that you will get from this investment. And this gives you a mental breakthrough and mental clarity in the situation. Princess of Wands says that you feel very passionate and excited about going forward with this. The Sun card says that you feel happy. Major Arcana. This lesson for the Sun card is, is to, to be happy, right? A lot of people go through life consciously not being happy, right? We've all met those people who are just, they're just not happy, right? The, the lesson of this sun card is to consciously be happy. So there you are being happy, right? Being happy because, because now you know what direction you're going to take to get harmony and happiness in your life. There is going to be a change in your relationship, a transition and a transformation into a very solid love relationship. This is the card of a Gemini, by the way. Oh yeah, let me point that out. So that's Aquarius, right? The devil is Capricorn. The moon is Pisces. The Hierophant is Taurus. And death is Scorpio. And the lovers is Gemini. May mean something to you. May not. So you've come to all of this good stuff right here, right? If you, 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 you've, you've processed all of this. You are going to go forward into a love relationship. You are sitting down with your high priestess, right? So this doesn't mean like, like you're doing it right now. This means you have made the decision that you're going to go forward into a love relationship. You're sitting down with your high priestess. This is the card of Pisces. You are sitting down with your intuition and you are, you are sorting through all of the ties that bind you in the devil energy. You're sorting through choices, options, decisions, confusion, right? Fantasy, illusion, and you're getting to the bottom of it. You are digging deep into your subconscious mind and you are getting to the bottom of what your holdup is, okay? The high priestess, the lesson for the high priestess. The lesson for the high priestess is to be in touch with your intuition. When you are making life decisions, you have to use your cerebral intellect just as much as you have to use your spiritual intuition to be guided down the path that you need to go for your life's purpose. If you do not sit down with your intuition, if you do not understand your subconscious mind, you will make cerebral decisions your whole life and you will never, you will never go on the path that you are meant to go on. You will never fulfill your life's purpose. And when you die and you're reincarnated and you come back, you're going to be doing the same shit over and over and over again because you're disconnected, right? 
That's the lesson of the high priestess is to tap into your subconscious mind and use and learn to use your spirit to guide you just as much as you use your brain to guide you. Okay. And that's what you're doing here, Sagittarius. That's what you're doing here. You are sorting through all of this and you are coming to a, a, a understanding. You're coming to an understanding about who you are and where you need to be. The world card comes in on top of that and says completion, integration, and accomplishment. This is the last card of the journey of the major arcana, right? We start at one and we go through 21. This is the last lesson that needs to be learned. This lesson, not your last lesson, Sag, but the last lesson of the major arcana. This world card talks about completion, integration, and accomplishment. The lesson for this card is for you to understand that that cycles complete it's for you to understand how to take all of these lessons that you've learned right here and integrate them so you can continue down the journey of life right or through the journey of life that's the lesson of this card. This The lesson of this card is to understand that, that life has cycles. And when they complete, a new one begins, right? And to integrate the lessons of your life into one big fat lesson and keep going, right? And that's what you're doing here, Sagittarius. That's what you're doing here. You are going to, to manifest a brand new opportunity in this relationship. You're going to manifest the seedlings of a, a new sprout in this relationship. And the Prince of Wands comes in and says that you are really excited about this. Super excited. Again, just like up here, you're excited. You have a sense of enthusiasm. You have, you have a sense of discovery, right? You are excited to go forward into this new relationship, into teamwork and collaboration, right? Now, like I said in the first go through, this doesn't mean you're doing it. This means that all of this has happened on the inside of you up until this point, right? This nine of wands right here is you struggling. It's you wrestling and struggling to execute the decisions that you've made here. This nine of swords is you struggling to execute what you have processed up until this point. What are you struggling with? You're struggling with security, control, and power. Perhaps some self-discipline. You're, you're, you're struggling with, with control issues. Either in yourself, in this relationship, in your life. But somehow, some way, you feel out of control, Sag. You feel out of control. So while you are sitting in this Nine of Wands energy, wrestling through your control issues, you will transition out, okay? I do believe that this is a very short-lived energy right here. I think it's a very short-lived energy. It's one last final hoorah to get your mental straight, right? And you're going to transition out of it. And you're going to have emotional balance and control. You're going to have emotional security, calm, cool, collected. You've sat down with your intuition and you know that you know that you know the direction that you're going to take from this point forward. You have a sense, again, the third, the second time, you have a sense of, of celebration, right? You're just, you're just bubbly and excited. You have a sense of celebration. You have control, authority, and structure. You have control of yourself now, right? Justice has been applied. What is justice? Oh, wait, we forgot to talk about the emperor. This emperor, the life lesson for the emperor. This is the card of Aries, okay? The, the lesson for this card 
is that authority, establishment, and structure. This card is sometimes referred to as a father figure, which makes sense because this card is teaching you, this life lesson is teaching you that without control of yourself, without self-discipline, without authority in your own life, there cannot be structure and establishment. This card is, is teaching you that you have to have self-control. You have to have authority over your own actions. And that will create structure and establishment for your life. Just like a father would teach their child to be in control. Have control, boy. Son, daughter, sit down, be quiet, and listen to what I'm saying. Have some control. Right? That's the lesson right there. Um, where were we? Because justice has been applied. What is justice? Cause and effect, right? What is the cause? You. You. Processing all of this. What is the effect? The effect is the outcome of this reading. The effect is because you are cognizant that this shit is going on in your life. You will be able to process it and do what you need to do in order to have happiness in the outcome. This card is teaching you that if you put good into yourself, if good comes out of yourself, good will come to you in karmic justice. So justice has been applied and you are going to share your feels with, with your lover, with whomever it is that you are in love with right here. You're going to share your feels with them. You're going to share your feels. There is an inevitable end to the juggling of priorities. Perhaps this is part of the devil energy here. You are going to make this relationship a priority in your life because now you have a sense of self-sufficiency, right? You know that you're okay with your own emotions. And this Nine of Pentacles says that there's a culmination. You now have self-sufficiency and there's a culmination to the situation. And what's going to pop off? From that culmination is you are going to pour your love into this relationship. The chariot card comes in and says you are going to move forward. You are going to take action for the success of this, of this relationship. This is the card of cancer. This chariot card is number seven in the major arcana and it means control, willpower, success, action, and determination. The lesson of this card is if you want success in your life, you have to have control of yourself. You have to exert willpower to actually do it because we can think about something all day long, but until we actually execute it, it's meaningless. You have to have control and willpower and determination in this life. If you don't have control, willpower, and determination, you are not going to accomplish anything. And there's a lot of people who don't. There's a lot of people who never accomplish anything because they do not have control, willpower, and determination to make something successful in their life. Not only... Do you have to have control, willpower, and determination to achieve success? But the key word here is action. Without action, it's absolutely meaningless. And that is your lesson right here, my friend. What happens when you exert control, willpower, determination to achieve success? What happens when you exert the action needed to go forward? You get unified love, my friend. Unified love and a beautiful relationship. 
There you go, Sagittarius. That is your full and complete reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that it helped to give you some clarification, some perspective, some understanding, maybe even a heads up of what's coming down the road. Pay attention to the lessons in your life and namaste, my friend.